Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. On May 9th, 2023, the Journal of Clinical Psychiatry published a review paper of relevant studies that tested the B vitamin folic acid as an adjunctive treatment for major depressive disorder. Now, more specifically, the researchers looked at a special form of folic acid known as methylfolate, which the study showed improved the efficacy of antidepressant drugs in patients who were previously shown to be unresponsive to the use of antidepressant drugs alone. In other words, there's a population of patients who suffer from depression who do not respond to antidepressant drugs, but when methylfolate supplementation is added to antidepressant drug therapy, the response rate improves significantly. Now we've seen studies like this over the years, but this is the first review paper that has integrated the findings of all the relevant previous studies into one overall review, which also included recommendations for psychiatrists to consider. Now these findings are not surprising as antidepressant drugs generally work by slowing down the breakdown of, of a brain neurotransmitter known as, as serotonin. So the drugs slowly indirectly raise brain levels of this feel-good chemical. But there are no drugs that increase the synthesis of serotonin. They can only slow down the breakdown. We know that folic acid is required to synthesize various neurotransmitters, including serotonin. The same is true for vitamin B12, which has been shown to improve cognition and mood in people suffering from low vitamin B12 levels. The supplement known as 5-hydroxytryptophan, or 5-HTP, has also been shown to raise serotonin levels by increasing its synthesis and improve certain types of depression. Omega-3 fat supplementation also plays a role in preventing and reversing depression to some degree by improving nerve cell fluidity and reducing brain inflammation as two of the purported mechanisms. But this paper only reviewed the studies using methylfolate, a special form of folic acid. The researchers commented that methylfolate is required to make a cofactor known as tetrahydrobioterin that is required to synthesize various neurotransmitters, including serotonin. They also noted that methylfolate supplementation was particularly useful in patients with drug-resistant major depression who were overweight and or had high levels of inflammatory markers. So in concert with these findings, overweight patients are known to secrete higher amounts of inflammatory chemicals called cytokines, which are known to interfere with the synthesis of certain no neurotransmitters, including serotonin. Thus, overweight patients with depression are often unresponsive or less responsive to antidepressant drugs due to higher inflammatory chemicals, prostaglandins and cytokines in their body, and thus in these cases are shown to benefit from the addition of methylfolate supplementation to their treatment plan. The researchers suggest that the addition of methylfolate supplementation to the treatment regime helps the brain overcome the adverse effects of inflammatory cytokines enabling the brains of these individuals to resume more normalized synthesis of serotonin. This is something that drugs cannot do. They explained to their psychiatric colleagues that the effective dosage of methylfolate in major depressive disorder in patients who are unresponsive to antidepressant drug therapy is 15 milligrams per day. The recommendation is to add methylfolate to standard antidepressant drug treatment in cases where patients are unresponsive to antidepressant drugs as the sole treatment plan. It should be noted that a number of common vitamins and minerals are essential to the synthesis of brain neurotransmitters such as serotonin, dopamine, and other important brain chemicals. More specifically, the B vitamins folic acid, vitamin B12, vitamin B6, vitamin B3, pantothenic acid, along with vitamin C and magnesium, they're all required for the synthesis of many brain neurotransmitters, as well as enabling the brain, to, brain cells to generate the energy required for normal brain function. This is one more reason why I think people should consider taking a high-potency multiple vitamin each day that includes a B50 complex and elevated levels of antioxidants like vitamin C and vitamin E. Now, regarding methylfolate supplementation, if you've suffered from depression and antidepressant, antidepressant medications have not been effective or provided only a partial response, then you may want to discuss with your doctor adding 15 milligrams a day of methylfolate as an adjunctive treatment, especially if your blood homocysteine level is high. 
or your blood ESR or CRP level is high, these are inflammatory markers that uh, your doctor should be aware of. As a final comment, the review paper published in the Journal of Clinical Psychiatry in May of 2023 really underscores our growing understanding that certain natural supplements can cross the blood-brain barrier and produce important effects on brain function and brain health and even help to slow and reverse important aspects of brain aging. So I've provided a link to the research paper on methylfolate in the text below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.